Welcome to Electron Online. In this series of videos, we're going to learn how to solve first order differential equations, which at first sight don't appear to be separable, where we don't seem to be able to separate the variables, so that we have the y variables along with dy and the x variables along with dx. But if we do a simple substitution, we're going to be able to make them separable, and then we can solve them just like we did in the previous series. So what we learned before is if we have the form, some function of the variable y times y prime, which is of course dy dx, is equal to some function with the variable x, then we can separate the variables. We can write f of x times dx equals g of y times dy, and then we can integrate both sides and solve the problem that way. But what if we have something that looks like this, where y prime is some function of y divided by x? Well, then what we can do is we can make a simple substitution where we let u equal y divided by x. Oh, whoop, all right. y divided by x. There we go. So what we can then do is we can solve this substitution for y. So we count y is equal to u times x. And then we can find dy dx, which of course, since this is a product, we use the product rule. So it's the first times the derivative of the second, which is dx dx, plus the second, which is x, times the derivative of the first, which is du dx. In other words, we can write dy dx, which is the same as y prime, as equal to u plus x du dx. And then if we make this substitution back in here, we could then put that for the left side of the equation. We can then say that u plus x times du dx, which of course we can write as this is equal to u plus x times u prime, if you want to write it in a simple format. So this is u plus x times u prime is equal to some function. Instead of writing y over u, we write uh, y over x, we write some function of u. So then what we did was we turned something that looks like this into something that looks like this. And this we are able to separate the variables because we no longer have that fraction of y over x, which in a lot of cases is very difficult to separate. All right, at that point, we can go ahead and solve uh, for um, we can start separating the variables. So we'll write this as u plus x times du dx. So instead of writing u prime, we write du dx is equal to f of u. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and put u on the other side. So now we have x times du over dx is equal to f of u minus u, because we put u on the other side. And then we can go ahead and put the du over here, so we can write that x divided by dx is equal to f of u minus u divided by du. And of course, if we then take the inverse of both sides, we then end up with dx over x is equal to du divided by f of u minus u. And then we can go ahead and integrate both sides to the equation. And after we then get the solution to that, we then go back and say, OK, we substitute u is equal to y over x. So we plug in y over x for every u, simplify or solve for y, and that's how we solve the variable. Uh, that's how we solve the differential equation, not the variable, of course. This is a differential equation. So that's the technique we want to use. Now, it turns out that we don't always use the substitution u equals y over x. There may be other situations. Sometimes we'll see like 2x minus y, and we can let u equals 2x minus y, or something like that, to make it easier to separate the variables. But we'll start with the standard type of equations like this, where we have to make the simple substitution, show you some examples, and then we show you how you can use that kind of technique in other cases where you don't have y over x, but some other function of x and y that we can substitute and make it possible to use the separation of variables technique. So stay tuned, and we'll show you some really good examples to show you how to use this particular technique to solve first order, first order differential equations.